What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and we have just recently hit a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. That's crazy. Woo! That's insane. I can't believe we just did that. Yes, we're like mind blown. But anyways, we told you guys that we were going to be doing a 100K Q&A. So we asked you to ask us some questions on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So thank you all for submitting your questions. Now let's get to answering them. Yes, let's do it. Very first question, which I can't believe is actually a question you guys sent in. You ask it way too frequently, which is kind of alarming. But the first question is, who in the heck is Cole and who is Jay? Hmm. I know that both those names are kind of gender neutral, but we always like point at who's who and like I talk to her as a yeah. person and she talks to me as a person and let's just cut to today's. I'm Cole. And I'm Jay. And this is Jay. Jay is short for Jessica. Jessica. Um, I, when we first met, I started calling her just Jay, you know, just like straight up Jay, like not J-A-Y, but she spells it J-A-Y when we're talking about it in that nickname sort of sense. But anyways, yes, I'm Cole. She's Jay. Hopefully... We have resolved this issue, <laughs> this confusion, and uh, we Sorry can, you were confused. Yeah, we can go throughout the rest of this video with you knowing exactly who is talking to who. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny to me. Next question is, are you guys boyfriend and girlfriend? That's an interesting question. And the answer is no. No. We used to be. Yeah. It just wasn't working out. We're ex-boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. It wasn't working out, so we just decided to get married. Yeah, so we're <laughs> so actually- now we're married. Yeah, we're lovebirds. We are <laughs> married. We've been married for three years, um, a little more than three years. I guess our anniversary was September the 10th. And uh, so, October. Yeah, I've been married for three years and like a month. Yay. It's a change. So, that's awesome. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> next question. The next question is, how did you guys meet? So, we met in college. We met in a marine biology class. It was a semester where we were all like in the same class. We'd never been in a class before and just for some reason, um, the stars were aligned for us to be in all these classes and we fell in love. So- it, love at first sight. First really. sight, yeah, it was in college, <laughs> so. And our relationship moved pretty quickly after we met. Yeah, so we got, we dated. We date, we met, dated, got, got engaged, engaged, got married. All in the same year. All in the same year. Which was 2016, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, I mean, we know a lot of people that have engaged us for like over a year and we're like, that's crazy. I guess it's really not crazy. We just wanted to get married. So let's move on to question number four, which is what are your jobs? What do you two do for a living? Well, well, <laughs> we do YouTube. Yeah. So we make YouTube videos primarily, um, you know, whenever we were in school and just getting started up, you know, we worked part-time jobs, both work part-time jobs. At different places. I was a lifeguard. And then we started our YouTube channel and you know we didn't really expect or anything to come from it like you know take off and get monetized or anything like that but you know it did and um, we've been able to make a little bit of a living off of YouTube and I actually do work a part-time job on the weekends at a sporting goods store um, just you know just to do something else but our primary income comes straight from YouTube. All right moving on to the next question this question is what made you both decide to make a YouTube channel and do you like videoing or did it just come about all of a sudden? So Jessica and I, throughout life, even before we know each other, we've always enjoyed, you know, um, documenting our experiences through photo and video. We're always mm -hmm. taking like short clips. I've always, you know, liked to make videos of me catching snakes and um, catching fish. And I think the same for her, catching stuff, riding horses, doing all that kind of fun things. And so whenever we met each other, something that we liked about each other is we liked to make, take videos and document our experiences together. And we thought that YouTube would be a great platform for us to share our adventures um, that we went on with each other. You know, it was a good way for us to preserve those memories for us. It was basically, we made the YouTube channel basically as an archive for all yeah. of our adventures. Because Not all so this, much. Like all the stuff that we do is just what we've always done yeah. together. So now we're just like bringing a camera with us. Yeah. So it's not like we just started a YouTube channel. It wasn't like on a bloom, like it wasn't like on a whim, we're gonna make a YouTube channel where we go fishing or we're gonna make a YouTube yeah. channel where we go snake catching. This is like our everyday life. This is what we always have done. We just started bringing a camera along yeah. and making better documentations of it. So do we like videoing? Absolutely. Yes, we, do. <laughs> we love it. We love it. It's stressful. Sometimes it is Sometimes stressful. Sometimes whenever we're trying to make videos, like, you know, we'll have like bad weather. We're like, oh, we can't film in the rain or something like that. But. You know, we do the best we can, and we do really love it. We love what we do, and we love sharing these adventures with you guys. Next question is, what has been the most exciting video for y'all to record? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. We feel like all of our videos are exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like the Ooh. best? 
I like all of our fishing ones, but yeah, I really like our fishing challenges. Like those are always really mm -hmm. exciting to me, even though I lose a lot. <laughs> but still, um, whenever we went to North Carolina and we caught those dung beetles yeah. in our dog's poop, that one was really. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we had so much fun making that video. Like that was so exciting. Yeah, I think I think that one was exciting because we were in a different state. It was yeah. a beetle that we've been wanting to catch forever. And my buddy said, you know, he had a couple. We weren't expecting to catch very many. We were expecting to see some, but we weren't expecting to catch as many as we did. It was just really exciting. We were freaking out. If you guys have seen the video, you know how excited we were. How excited we were. And uh, I think that, that that's a good candidate yeah. as our most yeah. exciting video. I really like that one. I like that one too. <laughs> so, next question. Where is that? Number seven. Number seven. This one's, this one's oh, hard. man. Man, so there's going to be some lines drawn in the sand with this question. Which dog is your favorite? Are our dogs here? Are our dogs in the house? They're outside right now. They're outside? Maybe we should get our dog and answer it with our dog. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get the dogs. Let's go get those dirty dogs. Okay, so these are our doggies. If you're new to the channel, this is Buggy and this is June Bug. We call her Junie. Yeah, so we got Buggy was our first dog. We got her shortly after we moved to this house. And then we got June Bug this summer. And uh, they're best buddies. They look a lot alike. They're not related. They're not related. But they look <laughs> almost identical, except for, except for Buggy's got a curly tail. And June Bug's got these little freckles on her face. She's so cute. She cute. And June Bug's a little bit bigger. But anyways, guys, the folks at home asked us a tough question. They said, which dog is our favorite? Mm. How do we answer that, Buggy? Junie said, well, of course it's me. Buggy, how do we answer that question? Buggy's like, please say it's me. <laughs> Buggy gets her feelings hurt. Buggy gets so awkward on camera. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> so, I don't know. Mm, Buggy's been here the longest. Buggy Buggy's... doesn't cause any trouble, is the thing. Junebug goes around and chews up stuff a little bit. She, she digs holes in the yard. Holes. She chews up wires. Up plants. Yeah, so. But she's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's like she's so silly. a little snuggle bug. Okay. Both of you girls are amazing dogs. Anybody would be lucky to have dogs like y'all. But if I were to pick my favorite, I would have to say that it's... <laughs> I can't pick a favorite. Buggy. <gasps> Well, Buggy's only the favorite because she forces herself to be the favorite. Well, I had to say I had to say that because Buggy would get really upset. June Bug doesn't know what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Buggy knows what we're He's saying. Like, why am I on this table? You having fun, June Bug? Where's the food? Buggy, did you hear that? I'm gonna ask the folks at home. Okay, so if you're watching this and you have children, do you love your firstborn more than your secondborn? Huh. The firstborn is <laughs> usually the favorite. I feel like. Yeah. She was our first child. She will always have that. Yeah. But Junebug, Junie, I love you so far. much. you're not far. You're not far off. I love you so much, Junebug. My favorite is Brittany, though. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Brittany. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's be real, guys. I honestly, I said that Buggy was my favorite, but there's no way I could choose one over the other. I, these dogs are incredible. We love both of them so much. Junebug, don't be yawning like that and being nasty. Your breath stinks. <laughs> But we have some really good puppy dogs and we wouldn't trade them for anything. So we're gonna let these girls go back and go do what they were doing. I'm not sure what that was. I think they're just causing trouble. And we're gonna get back to answering you guys' questions. So say bye, Buggy. Bye, Buggy. Jimmy says, I'm gonna stay right here. Say bye, Jim Bug. <gasps> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye, girls. Okay. <laughs> okay, now that the dog hair is settled, let's answer the next question. Which is? What is your biggest bass? What is both of your biggest bass? Biggest bass. So we bass fishing is our favorite type of fishing to do. Is that a question right? Yeah, there was a question. Favorite fish to fish for? Okay, so yeah, that's a question. So we're answering that right now. Bass fishing is our favorite. Uh, well, bass are our favorite fish to target. Largemouth bass in particular. Um, and my largest bass I've ever caught is seven and a half pounds. I've caught three bass. <laughs> Over seven pounds oh, in my life. Oh, right about it. Well, I mean, I, mean, I kind of feel like I should have caught a bigger bass than that by now. As much as I fish, I fish almost every day. I fish I mean, probably over 300 days a year for largemouth, which is kind of crazy. And I've never caught anything bigger than seven and a half pounds. I don't even think I've ever hooked up with anything over seven and a half pounds. But we do live in Arkansas. You know, like the lake we live on is, you know, it's not really a big bass factory. There's a ton of four or five pounders out here. 
Um, we catch a ton of four or five pound bass, but it's just hard to like link up with, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten pounders. There's only a few lakes in Arkansas where you can go do that and uh, catch them. So maybe we should start traveling to those lakes and try to break <laughs> some personal bests this year. Yes. But tell the folks at home what your favorite, what your biggest fish is. My biggest fish is 514. 514. I cannot catch a six pounder to save my life. That is a lunker though. And it, she's, is a, it is a really good fish. And she's not lying. She's got a bunch of five pounders. A bunch I can of five never get anything over that though. Maybe maybe mm. we can catch it before the year's over. There's I a couple so. places we have in mind that grows big largemouth in the state and uh, they're not super pressured water. So we're going to try to go explore some of those waters soon and uh, try to break some personal bests. I would love to catch an eight pounder before the year's over. Wouldn't that be sweet? I want to catch a 10. Don't we all want to catch 10 pounders? <laughs> hey, but if we do catch a big one, you guys will be the first ones to know because we're going to be documenting every moment when we're fishing these big bass lakes. So, hope we catch some big ones, but for right now, my biggest one is seven and a half pounds. Hers is 514. So close to six. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, do you guys name all of your butterflies? And I think that this question is in reference to one of our latest videos where um, we talked about the modern butterflies we raise here in the house and release. That video was great. That video got over two and a half million views. That's insane. But the answer to that question is, not I guess, all of them. not all of them. There's too many butterflies to name all of them. We've released probably around 300 this year and it's hard to come up with 300 different names, but we do name some of them, I yes. guess. Yeah, we're not gonna lie. We name a lot of the females Felicia. <laughs> And so it's, it's mainly just for a simple reason, yeah. Yeah, we're just being fun. We're like, bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> and, and today I released a monarch, a male monarch, and I named him Moses. Moses the monarch. Moses so, the monarch. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes we name them. Yeah, it's, but it's fun when you name them. Most of the time we just we just hatch them out and let them go. <laughs> we'll see you later. Okay, so this is a good question. How many times have y'all been bit by snakes? Woo! That's a that's a um, hefty question. I don't have enough fingers and toes to count. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I've been catching, uh, you know, non-venomous water snakes since I was probably around 10 or 11 years old and catching a bunch of them. And they're so defensive and, you know, and aggressive and quick to strike and bite um, that you just, get, you just get a bill. If you, if you play that game and you're catching, you know, water snakes, you're going to get bit. Um, with them being non-venomous, it's not like, you know, a, a huge deal to get bit by one. And it's, you know, most of the time my main priority or our main priority when we're trying to catch them is, you know, make sure we are able to successfully, you know, get a hand on them and, you know, get them up close to the camera so we can show you guys these snakes. So sometimes you're not able to get a perfect grab on them and they whip around and they'll tag you. But I'm we're gonna not say saying before. it's the best thing to get bit by snakes. No. Like and, everyone could react differently right. to getting bit by a snake. Yeah, so we definitely don't encourage you, you know, to go out and target, yeah. you know, snakes you don't know what they are with you know i think that you're gonna get bit and it's not a big deal because yeah. you mean you could react differently yeah. but just yeah. us in general we don't have any issues getting bit but yeah. we've been bit quite a few times to get back to the <laughs> could you get back to the question jay and i have been bit probably several hundred times and this is kind of <laughs> this is a good follow-up question will you guys ever leave those dang snakes alone never no no we love snakes yeah we love snakes we love catching them we love you know looking at each individual specimen and you know seeing you know what makes that individual unique we like getting them close to the camera for you like teaching you guys about the snake we think that you know a really good way to you know showcase these animals with you guys is to get them up close to the camera and show you guys all the different identifying features and so yeah we love and it and we understand that not everybody likes snakes but mm -hmm. we honestly love snakes yeah so this is just what we do yeah all right, so we've had a lot of fun answering the questions you guys submitted to us, and we are going to wrap up this Q&A with the most frequently asked question that you guys ask us constantly. You asked us a bunch um, after we asked you guys to send us some questions, <laughs> but you asked this question literally in every video yeah. in the comments section. So let's just jump into it. You probably know what the question is. I'm just going to say it. The question is, when are you guys going to have a baby? A baby. <laughs> I'm terrified of the answers. <laughs> They're about to start coming out right here. So, you know, we started our YouTube channel a year and a half ago, and right. we want to give YouTube a hundred percent, like this is for real what we want to do for the rest of our lives. And, but I guess it was a couple months ago, we were like, you know, we can't even think about having a baby until we at least reach our goal of a hundred thousand subscribers. Right. Yeah. So that was kind of what we always talked about. We were like, there's no way we're even going to talk about having a baby until we have a hundred thousand subscribers. Yes. But then you guys had to go out there and deliver <laughs> and um, make us hit a hundred thousand subscribers a little bit sooner than, well, especially I 
<laughs> thought or intended that we would. Yeah, we were expecting to hit 100,000 like, like next, next year. year. Yeah, sometime so, next year maybe, you know, if that. <clears throat> so with that, hit, us hitting 100,000 subscribers so soon, you know, it's kind of got me all nervous, got me sweating bullets and putting a lot of pressure on me <laughs> to maybe, you know, potentially deliver <laughs> and have a baby. But I'm just, like I said, I'm scared. We have our house really at the moment. Yeah. Our house is just kind of crammed. You know, it's not our like our house a, is very small. Yeah, it's room to have a baby, but what if the baby starts growing? Ain't no room for yeah. a growing baby. There's barely yeah. room for June bug and buggy. Yeah. So. So there's just a lot of things to consider. But now that we have reached our goal of 100k, <laughs> we have definitely been talking about it. Yeah, it's probably gonna happen sooner than later. I'm not sure if sooner means you know five years from now Whoa. or ten years <laughs> oh, from no. now. Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm a little bit older than Cole, so I'm kind of more ready than he is, but mm -hmm. that's just part of marrying an older woman, Cole. You just I guess, should I have think, thought about that. I think it's just being part of, I think it's just part of being a dude that likes to fish all the time. Yeah. Well, you can still fish. We that's live on she, a lake. That's what she says. We live says. on a lake. We live on a lake. We can fish every day. We'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. I want to fish too. We'll keep you guys posted. That's what we're saying. We'll keep you guys posted yes. if we have. When we're expecting a child. And we, but we both really do want to be parents. Absolutely. Yes. Like I said, I'm terrified. Ter a little terrified, but we really, really want to be parents. And so we'll just finish this up. The, ne the next question is, how many kids do you want? She's going to say like a big number. I want like four or five. She wants a big family. Yes. I'm good with like two. I don't want to have just one. No. I want to have a buddy. Yeah. You know, like an in-the-house buddy all the time, <laughs> at least two. But, but I don't know, like four, I said, we gotta have a bigger house. Four is so fun, though. Like, if you have four... I never had no so, four kids. They have so many buddies. I guess so. I guess you're right. More the merrier, right? Right. We'll have to That's get rid of some animals. We'll have to get rid of... We'll have to get rid of, yeah, um, to get rid of the animals. The we'll kids get... will love the animals. We'll see. Like we said, guys, <laughs> we will keep you guys posted um, if we are ever planning to expand our family, which I guess we are planning on expanding the family, mm -hmm. but just maybe not right this moment. But soon. She says soon. We'll see. We'll let you guys know. But anyways, we're going to wrap this video up. We hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, us answering your questions. Maybe we'll do this again in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, just, you know, make sure you let us know in the comment section or hit the like button. Either one of those ways lets us know that you enjoyed this video. And uh, we just want to say a humongous yes. thanks again for you to you guys for helping us hit our 100,000 subscriber goal. Um, as you guys know, this, none of this would be possible without you guys. And we just it, we think it's so crazy that you guys you know enjoy tuning in and watching our videos. It means a lot to us. It inspires us, y'all yes. guys. Y'all y'all inspire us daily to you know continue to make videos for you guys. And um, I also to make want to say videos. that I feel like we have the best subscribers ever. I do like too. The nicest. Like, yeah. Y'all always say super nice things. Mm -hmm. You send us really sweet and thoughtful things, and we are just so thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah, forget what the haters say in the comments. You guys rock. We love you guys. And I think that's where we're in today's episode. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of exciting things in store for the future of the channel. You guys aren't going to want to miss out on any of that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We're Colin Jane, And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.